Matt Riddle has made a shocking TNA debut. WWE talent are expected to work independent shows and the men's war games advantage has been confirmed on SmackDown. Stay tuned for all the wrestling news. Last night, TNA hosted Turning Point, one of their pay-per-view special events sort yep. of things. And one of the big talking points coming out of it uh, is Matt Riddle, because Matt Riddle made a shocking appearance at the event. I, I didn't expect to see Matt Riddle appear in TNA, to be honest. No, we were expecting Trey Miguel, but yep. Trey Miguel couldn't make it due to travel complications. So Riddle popped up as the surprise sort of fill-in for Trey yeah. Miguel, uh, teaming with Zachary Wentz and Kushida to face the Hardys and Ace Austin. Uh, despite the debut, the, you know, he, he didn't, get, he the didn't, get, them he didn't the get the win. He didn't get the win. But it, it, it doesn't seem to be known right now if this was just sort of a one-off mm -hmm. or or like this was kind of a scramble, oh, we need somebody, Riddle's free, let's get Riddle. Or is it the start of something further? Maybe I or maybe feel, planning on using him and they've just pushed him in early. I feel like it might be the start of something new. I think we yeah. might see him appearing there more often. His appearance was set up by Zachary Wentz going on the mic, letting people know that Trey Miguel could not be there, <coughs> saying that he went to the treehouse and the shaman was there and he, the shaman was the bro, and then... The shaman had all of this dank foliage. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So uh, Matt Riddle was there. They, obviously, as Sam said, they didn't get the win, but, yeah. uh, I mean, he's, they were facing off against the Hardys. Look, yeah, I mean... But he's not going to get a win. At the same time, it's, you know, there was a lot of problematic things around Riddle's... The end of Riddle's time in WWE, yes. not the entire run. There were, you know, there were some yeah, good yeah. moments in it. Uh, there's been subsequently a lot of stuff coming out about Roman and Riddle, which has been kind of weird. Uh, but at the same time, it, it feels like he's needed that prominent landing spot. It feels like if he is looking to maybe reinvent himself or mm -hmm. take another serious run at, you know, pro wrestling, TNA is a good point for him to reinvent himself, for him to try and charge back up the ladder. I think TNA was something, I think we were <coughs> discussing it when he was released and yeah. saying that we wouldn't be surprised immediately if he popped up in TNA. Yeah. What is surprising to me is it's, one, it's taken as long as it has, but yeah. the, 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 it's taken as long as it has, and now he's appeared. Uh, the fact that he was a replacement makes me think, well, he wasn't going to be there anyway, but they brought him in for the show. Uh, yeah. PW Insider, I think, reported it before the event. It was like, hey, Matt Riddle's backstage. And then it was like, oh, he's on. Like, Who's let PW Insider backstage? He's on the show. So, yeah. uh, you know, maybe we'll see him going forward. Who knows? But sticking with TNA Turning Point last night. Once again, we're on a Saturday morning and JBL has done something in Turned a promotion up. and yeah. in a moment that we didn't expect to see him. Just coming in with clotheslines from hell out of nowhere. Dressed like a like a cowboy. It, it, to be yeah. fair, it looks pretty cool. He's got the, yeah, cool the cowboy aesthetic. Oh, it is quite yeah. cool. Well, he, he helped Nick Nemeth retain the TNA World Championship last night. Uh, it looked like the odds were stacked against Nemeth because you had like Eddie, his opponent, Eddie Edwards, had all his stable mates coming mm. in trying to, trying to stop him, trying to stop Nick Nemeth keeping that belt. Yeah. But who came out of the crowd to uh, close lane he from hell, Brian Myers. It was only the cowboy himself. It was cowboy JBL, yeah. which I still don't know what this game plan is. Have, <clears> no, any guess? They had like a little, they, they had the little kind of whisper whisper yeah. as well. I, the, I, JBL's motives are undefined right now. Um, I can't see any of his motives because he's blocked me on Twitter. <laughs> so so as, uh, as have I, I've been blocked <laughs> as well. So it's one of those where um, I, I figure we're gonna find out in time slowly maybe. It feels like it's building towards something. It doesn't really make sense sense to just have him keep popping up like kind of like a Final Fantasy summon. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> just sort of, just clothesline and then just evaporates, <laughs> just disappears, disappears back into the sky. It's so odd because he has been appearing at so many different independent yeah. companies throughout the past couple months and he's under a Legends deal with WWE. So it's like, it, it's a weird opening of the forbidden door from the WWE side. But uh, it looks like that might be set to continue generally across the board, doesn't it? Exactly. According to a report from the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, WWE talent are expected to be making more independent wrestling appearances in the next year. We've already seen the Judgment Day at OTT, Lyra yeah. Valkyria at OTT, and just last week, Ludwig Kaiser at WXW, which... That was random, but yeah. it was really cool. I, I think that it's it, it can only be a good thing. There's a lot of kind of discourse around the idea of WWE ID. A lot of people are seeing it as a fantastic thing. There's a small pocket of people that are seeing it as the next great scheme to kill the indies. <laughs> uh, like they're pinky in the brain, yeah, just yeah, waiting yeah. to take over everything. Uh, but at the same time, I think by allowing talent to go to trusted independence, because it's not like your local indies just all of a sudden going to have like Rhea Ripley on it. No. 
it's going to be trusted independents that they've worked with, maybe companies that the talent have specific ties to. Yeah. Um, and, you know, maybe companies that the talent has come from to go back and maybe have a king-making performance for somebody new rising We did see that with there. Grayson Waller just recently. Yeah. He was out in Australia wrestling for the company that sort of he got his start for in yeah. Australia. We've seen it with, with GCW. We've seen WWE stars in Bloodsport. We've they, seen they, all sorts. They did it in the past. It wasn't it wasn't frequent. You know, you had the, you had the trade deal with ECW in 90 there was a lot of back and forth with their developmentals mm -hmm. at the time which doesn't really count but when it was OBW yeah. uh, there was you know Smoky Mountain had like a weird invasion type back and forth thing in the 90s uh, they would obviously when it came to memorial shows you would see people like Taker and Brett showing up that they, mm -hmm. they, they, they've done this before and then it felt like it just sort of ground to a massive halt so to see them opening back up and allowing talent to go out and maybe some of these legends mm -hmm. to go back out uh, I, I think that you know JBL probably goes fantastic but any current talent who's at the top of their game showing back up especially in shot capacities at indies like yeah. god damn yeah it, it's just an exciting prospect i think i think it will come down to that point that you mentioned mm. earlier where it's it's if they've got a tie to that company that yeah. makes the most sense to me having them be like right we'll pop up for a little appearance it's it's got to be trusted indies because there's still going to be some carny promoters out there surely where it's like they can't lose but yeah, we're gonna make him. I mean, the, the big one that I've, I completely forgot to mention is Shinsuke Nakamura yeah. in, in Japan. He's like, back out there. He's yeah. back out there in the new year. Oh, he's doing Noah, which it's like, oh look, there's another trusted. Yeah. Again, it's the trusted. Well, aspect. It's, it's not even really an indie Noah. No, Noah's like, it's if not, you're gonna call no, Noah an indie, it's it's like the ultimate. It's super the ultimate indie. super indie. It's the big. It's one of the biggest companies in in Japan. Yeah. But it's it's still an, a third party or a, yeah, a third, it's a third party, party, which is it's kind of something we've not for. seen them playing ball with. But on the point of Nakamura. Indeed. He's debuted new music. Uh, so he came out uh, like with a whole new entrance. Uh -huh. it, it's kind of similar music to his old one, but it's slightly remixed. It's got some bass to it. It's, yeah. I actually quite like it. It's, I was it's expecting, a bit more whoopy. Yeah, yeah, I was expecting not to like it because I was thinking, oh, it's probably CFOS yeah. still. And then I was like, they just oh. give him They just give him S-A-W-F-T. Like, yeah, what is it? What was the song called soft. again? Yeah. You're sloppy. Uh, so jalopy. He's just walking out to that. Uh, but no, he, it's, it's like all bathed in red light and there's a giant moon behind him now as he sort of menacingly slowly makes his way down the ramp. It's not the kind of Nakamura we're used to. No. And anything to give him something new, hell yes. This is somebody who was one of the greatest wrestlers on earth and now he's just sort of juggled around in the mid card. Just make him feel special again, please. I please. think he might win tonight at Survivor Series War Games. Darth I, Nakamura, though, I'm enjoying it. I'm quite enjoying yeah. it. He looks he looks terrifying. He does. He looks terrifying. He should. He could probably kill you with his bare hands. Probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Uh, that's, yeah, I, I'd be terrified of that, actually. <laughs> he, it's he's like got, Suzuki just walks out with the towel on and it's like, oh he's God, like, he's, he's terrifying. He yeah. is menacing. Shinsuke Nakamura, though, he's up against LA Knight tonight at War Games. And don't forget, we do have a live stream tonight. Live reactions adam and andrew yeah. right here on youtube youtube.com um, forward slash cultaholic forward slash live the room should be open right now go leave them a load of abuse and they will have a lovely time later i do think he's i do think he's gonna win but I, sticking the, with the united states championships real quick though on the point yeah, oh, yeah. of that win he's got to surely because it, it's they've been building this whole headhunter thing yeah the, the promos where he's he comes saying, in you know like, i've been watching you and it, it like i know everything about you i know you better than yourself it's if he loses now he's gonna look like a fool he comes in every few months challenges a top star and, and then, then loses goes and surfs and then loses <laughs> and then goes and surfs give him that title belt one yeah. pitches this week tom made a very very compelling pitch as to why Get him to he should win that u.s title and as much as i love la knight yeah it's it's shinsuke's night how can la knight become a multiple time champion if he doesn't lose it either exactly yeah. but sticking with the u.s championship meachin defeated piper never and lash legend to advance the women's u.s championship tournament uh lash legend as revealed last week thanks mm -hmm. to spoilers uh was replacing jade cargill in that triple Who threat is match. injured isn't injured might be political situation nobody knows not no, dave no, quite, not pw no, it's sure nobody. everybody's got everybody's got differing reports but so meachin joins chelsea green and bailey in the semi-final and will face the winner of Naomi, Tiffany Stratton and Electra Lopez with the final taking place at Saturday night's main <sighs> event. It's I still think Chelsea. Chelsea. Green. It's, it's got to be, be Chelsea. Chelsea Green. It's got to be it's Chelsea. It's either Chelsea Green or Michin for me. Bailey would make sense as well, but to I don't think Bailey needs it. I think yeah. Bailey would give the belt immediate prestige, but it doesn't 
need prestige. It's already a US title. It's a national belt. And, and it's got a white strap. And that's as beautiful. much prestige as you need. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all you need for that one. It's got to be Chelsea Green. Yeah. Uh, finally, rounding things out from SmackDown last night, we do know who has the advantage in the men's war games match. Yeah. It feels weird whenever uh, a war games match advantage doesn't have the heels. Yeah, it, it have, feels like it, it kind of deflates it a bit. It you, does. You need that, you need that heel kind of uh, domination push at, at the, the start. start. Yeah. And thankfully, we're going to get that. Jacob Fatu defeated Jey Uso to earn the right to have the heels that owed the new bloodline have the advantage in the war games. Um, it was previously confirmed that the face team for the women have their advantage. So we do get mm. to see both sides of it. But Jacob Fatu getting the win last night in what in What's only his down? first singles televised match on regular TV. Yeah. Well, nice. Which I, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that was his first singles match yeah. on TV, not on paper. Well, I he think he's, he's only been in core tag, unit, tag hasn't matches he? And stuff like yeah. that. I think, anyway. But yeah, that is going to be tonight. War Games, as Sam said, the link is there down the bottom. Go and check it all out. I can't wait for it. We'll have what, what happened at. We'll have WTF moments on patreon.com forward slash cultaholic. I can't wait for war games. I love it's, a war game. It's always one of the more games. exciting times of the year, especially in the turnaround after the fact that Survivor Series used to always be kind of the boring one. It's, it was the boring uh, one. But like, uh, yeah, war games as a gimmick has reinvigorated it. I'm expecting some poo housery from the new yeah. bloodline. Yeah, yeah. I feel like they're going to have to reign supreme here. I think they're going to have some sort of equalizer we don't know about yet. And maybe it could be Lance Anawai. Ooh, he has been signed. Okay. But he's I'm, also like a, a perennial baby face. I can't imagine him angry. He just, I give he's a pretty good, really happy. pretty good pitch for how the the, yeah. the new bloodline win. Go and check that out on pitches. Sam, round things off. I want to hear your best regal war games. War games. Wow. Oh, I did a spit there. Awful. Time by. <laughs> <laughs>